So today we're going to be talking about the permutations for a 2x2x1. Two by two by this is one of the simplest Rubik's Cubes. I mean, it is more complicated than the 0x0, zero zero, which is um, here, 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 and it's um, over there, and it's in your room as well. Uh, the 1x1, one one, which is, I don't actually have one of those, but it's basically just a dice. And then we have the 2x2x1. Two by two by and this puzzle only does 180 degree rotations like this. So let's talk about how to calculate the permutations, or the number of possible ways you can arrange this Rubik's Cube. Let's get into it! Alright, let's go, 2x2x1. Two by two by this is what it looks like, I mean you've already seen it, but yeah. And I'll be using this small diagram to show the permutations. A correct color scheme of the Rubik's Cube would be white on top, and then for the two colors I'm using red and blue. The red would be on the left and the blue would be on the right, but since you can't show white on a white background, I'm gonna use black. And then yellow would be on the bottom, green would be on the back left side, and orange would be on the back right side. Since this puzzle is such a small puzzle, it is hard to do like mathematical calculations like how we did for the 3x3, three three, and it's kind of also pointless. So, uh, yeah. So here's how we'll approach it. Let's start with the solved state. If we were to do zero turns on the puzzle, how many permutations could happen? It's only one just because it's the solved state, and zero turns changes nothing. How about for one turn? How many permutations are there if we were to turn the cube once? Well, we could 180 degree rotate it like this, or like this. There are not four of them, there are only two of them, because turning one side would be the exact same thing as turning the other side. How about with two turns? There are still only two combinations. There is this pair, and there is this pair. And then with three turns, there's only one combination. After the first turn, the cube would look like this, the second turn, it would look like this, and then the third turn, it would look like this. And if you were to do three different moves from the solved state, this would always be the result. And if we were to sum up one, two, two, and one, we'd get six. And that's how many permutations there are for it. And that's it. Yeah, okay, just like last video, I need to come up with something better than that's it. But, for my fractions video and those type videos, I've come up with completed. Instead of done, it's just a synonym. Um, yeah. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe up here, share the videos with your friends, and check out two more videos over here. And comment down below any questions about math or my videos that you have, and I will be happy to reply to them. Other than that, I'll see you all later. Bye.